Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I recently posted on my Instagram story asking you what you guys want to see more of on my YouTube channel and many of you wanted to see more cooking videos and also some of you wanted to get to know me better because you don't really know me so well so what better way than cook dinner together and I can just answer some questions and we can have some cozy time together and I'm gonna cook my comfort meal which is vegetable soup I know it doesn't sound very exciting but I'm telling you it's so delicious Huggy's calling me, wait a second Hi! So yeah, we're making vegetable soup tonight and it is so delicious Last time I made it, I made like a big batch of it and we froze the leftovers and I was honestly so many times just like craving it for dinner. I was like, oh. Also, it's so easy. You just put it in the freezer and then you can just like take it out in the morning and let it defrost throughout the day. And then you just reheat it and it's amazing. These are the ingredients that you are going to need. Some peas, potatoes, vegetable stock, garlic, onion, cabbage, lemon, carrots, celery, chickpeas and then I have some canned tomatoes and tomato paste and I'm sorry I don't really have like a recipe I honestly just make this by heart and I'm of course going to use my Le Crujette I don't really know how to pronounce this name but I love this pot so much I use it a lot and it is especially good when you're making soups and stews and stuff that you want to freeze maybe, then you can make big batches. I think somebody is getting hungry. So we are going to start by cutting an onion and garlic. I love a lot of garlic, but sometimes I have actually put a little bit too much garlic. So I have to be careful. I have this very cool gadget for garlic. Put it in here. Helge is here. And now I'm just gonna cut the onion in small pieces. Some of you guys felt like you didn't know me so well. I think many of you just discovered my YouTube channel through like recommendations on YouTube. And I kind of want to introduce myself so my name is Birtaflin Sjurodosir and I am from Iceland and I moved to Copenhagen two years ago because I was going to study at a business university but only for one semester because it was like an exchange and to make a long story short I ended up loving Copenhagen so much that I just didn't want to leave and I moved here with my boyfriend Helge so yeah we just stayed here and we love it so so much honestly if you have the opportunity to go on an exchange then I encourage you to do so honestly it's the best decision I ever made honestly I know it's cliche but I just feel like it's so cool that you get the opportunity to move to another country and experience new cultures and meet new people and yeah, you just grow so much from it. And I actually got a lot of questions on my Instagram, which city is my favorite and maybe you already know by now, but Copenhagen is definitely my favorite city. It's just so amazing in many, many ways. I'm gonna put some olive oil in my pot. I'm going to put the onion in it. Last time I made this recipe, I actually didn't put chickpeas in it, but if you want more protein, I think it's great if you want to have some chickpeas in it. Also, I just love chickpeas. I'm going to add the garlic. And now onto the celery. But about my favorite city, I also want to say that Paris is truly also one of my 
favorite cities. There are so many things to love about Paris. So, okay, so I'm just cutting it in small pieces, but not like super, super small. I oftentimes receive a lot of questions about like starting YouTube and people are asking me what camera I'm using and what like editing program I'm using. So the camera that I'm using is Sony Set V1. I'm gonna write it here. And it is a very good camera, but it also has some things that annoy me a little bit. But I think it's a good starter camera. And the editing program that I use is Final Cut Pro. And I think you can actually get like a free trial for 90 days, which is a long, long time. But eventually I ended up buying it because it is a great program and I would highly recommend it. So here's the celery. I'm going to put it into the pot. Now I'm going to cut some carrots. So a lot of the questions are about when we are going to have the wedding and we are actually not going to have the wedding anytime soon so I'm not sure if I would want to like get married in a church I think I would just want to get it like where we just like sign and get everything done and then we could like have a little celebration with our loved ones and just have a fun time. I don't really dream about wearing like a gown or anything so maybe you guys are a little bit disappointed to hear that but yeah honestly we don't really have any plans on like when the wedding is going to be or anything so yeah I think it's just such a beautiful thing to get engaged so I am very happy that Helgi decided to propose in Paris. Okay, next question. Next vacation. I'm going to Italy during Christmas and I am so, so excited. This is a place in Italy in the Alps that I've been to a couple of times before and it's truly, truly like my favorite place ever to go skiing. So the carrots are ready. Now I'm going to add two cans of tomato. While this is cooking, I am going to cut some potatoes because potatoes are so delicious. So a lot of the questions are if I'm studying and the answer is no, not at the moment. I have studied two years of business administration so I only have one year left of my study and I have also written like my bachelor thesis which I'm very proud of so I was supposed to continue my third year online here in Copenhagen and I started and I bought the books and everything but then I just realized that I wasn't so passionate about it and I was just so focused on my social media and that is something that I'm so passionate about and I love doing social media and being creative and you know filming videos so basically I decided to take a break from my school or quit if you want to say so but it was a very difficult decision and I'm not sure if you know in the next few years I would want to like finish my degree but for now I'm just doing something that I'm so passionate about and I can make a living out of it so I just want to be happy and do what I love I think life is all about that so yeah so I'm going to put water and vegetable stock into the soup I am going to add the tomato paste as well. Okay, so I am going to add the potatoes to the soup. So now I'm going to cut the cabbage and I'm just gonna cut it in some way. And honestly, I really enjoy cabbage in a soup. 
I don't know why. It's really good and it's very healthy. So I got a question from a girl and she says, how do you feel to be engaged so young? And honestly, it feels amazing. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I don't feel any different, but I'm just super happy that we got engaged and I don't feel like that I'm so young necessarily. I mean, we have been together for five years and honestly, I know it's very cliche to say, but I have like always known that Helge is like my one and only. Like he is my soulmate and it just feels very natural for us to be engaged. I don't feel any different except that I have a ring on my finger and of course we are so happy about the engagement and everyone around me. The love that we have received about the engagement is insane. It honestly makes me cry. So I'm gonna put the cabbage in. Now I'm adding the chickpeas and the peas. I'm going to close the pot so it can cook properly. Do you feel down during those winter days because it's always so dark? Oh my god, it's honestly like you read my mind because I have been thinking a lot about this and I honestly had a really low point in my life recently and I think I just realized that it's all because of like winter depression. But yeah, it was just hard to get out of bed and I didn't feel motivated and I was leaning against like junk food and just not in a really good routine and it just made me feel shitty and then I was just like I need to make a change but yeah I actually read a really interesting article about rest and I took like a test or like a quiz on the internet and there are like a few things that I need to focus on more to feel better and to get more rest and that is that I really need to focus on reading more and going out into the nature and just have some time for myself and I was thinking about making a separate video about this because it was very interesting but I think the soup is getting ready And I'm going to add salt and pepper and some chili flakes. So here is the soup. Mmm, yummy. So I'm just tasting if everything is properly cooked. Mmm, so yummy. I'm going to Put the soup in the living room or the dining room. 